In a lifetime, the average American must walk or drive over thousands of manhole covers, but whoever stops to ponder that? Why, Somerville photographer Daniel Fireside, that's who, who just can't keep a lid on his excitement for manhole covers. This is the oldest thing on this street here, and it's an amazing condition, and somebody made this. For several years, Fireside has been zealously documenting manhole covers all around Greater Boston, and wherever he travels, for that matter. This quirky obsession started one day when he took his toddler for a stroll around their Teal Square neighborhood. My two-year-old started pointing down to the ground and said, ABC. And I looked down, and there was actually a G. It just sort of opened up this strange world, and I had my cell phone with me and started snapping a few photos. Researching the origins of manhole covers, Fireside discovered many in Somerville and Arlington were made in the late 1800s. Back then, there were dozens of area foundries. For the artisans who fashioned them, manhole covers were industrial Rembrandts. They had real craftspeople who put really intricate designs on them. There's this human touch to them, to this you know, quintessential utilitarian object. Professionally, Fireside raises capital for the fair-traded coffee company Equal Exchange. His co-workers find his photography project both amusing but cool. When he's out on the streets, however, most bystanders are simply baffled. I get mistaken for a city worker a bunch. I get people telling me, oh, there's a pothole over here. And, a, and then I usually go up to them and explain what I'm doing. And then within a couple minutes, they're like, oh, that's really cool. And I show them, you know, this one right in front of your house is from the 1870s. And they're like, wow, I didn't even realize that. Fireside's own family occasionally questioned the sanity of darting out into traffic to snap a photo. His teenage son teases him he'd be a perfect candidate for a prize received only posthumously. There's a thing called a Darwin Award where, where people die in horribly stupid ways and get held up as examples of natural selection. So he's, he's worried that that's, <laughs> that's how I'm going to go. But, you know, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. To date, Fireside has posted some 3,000 photos on Instagram under the handle Iron Covers. Turns out he's not alone. This hobby, often called drain spotting, is actually a worldwide phenomenon. I have people who send me them from Russia, from India, South Africa, all over the U.S. Norway has some really interesting ones with saints on them. All over the world, people look down at, at manhole covers and say, hey, I saw this one and thought of you. Daniel's work recently caught the eye of Somerville's executive director of historic preservation. Brandon Wilson is interested in creating a sidewalk manhole walking tour for local children. And I thought, oh, that would be a really fun way to introduce young children to the city life and some of the ways it has changed over many years. If you reach children at an early age, it sort of leaves an impression that hopefully is lifelong uh, curiosity. This manhole cover in Cambridge is Fireside's favorite to date, frogs circling an unfortunate fly. If this is out there, he muses, imagine what covers have yet to be discovered. What I love about it is it's taught me to appreciate, you know, when I take a walk, I, I just become much more observant of the beauty of a street, of, of an old rusty manhole cover. 